Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Lisa with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. I'm one of the sales directors here on the annuity side. And my my apologies for being so late. Um, I know I'm 13 minutes late here. We had some technical difficulties. So um, I am going to uh, send you all you know, the handouts. Um, I'll send you some information here on IMS because I know I see a few new people here and I'll personally reach out to you and introduce IMS to you as well. Our academies that we have, um, the benefits with IMS, our new producer bonuses, um, our trips, our summit trips for top producers. I mean, we really do provide an amazing partnership with our producers and um, some of you on here can attend to that. So again, accept my apology for being tardy here this morning. I am gonna introduce you over to um, Jay, he's with De uh, Delaware Life, and we've got the privilege of having him. Jay, thanks for being patient for me. Yeah, no worries, no worries at all. I'm so sorry. I never do this. This is horrible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the presenter over to Jay. I know that there's a lot of talk about this product. Um, I've been talking. I love the flexible flexibility option. People are trying to grow their retirement. It's an easy, super easy product, um, able to, to grow. Their history is amazing. And, um, you know, the declared rates in the last seven years. I mean, that's that's a big story in itself. So I'm trying not to steal your thunder there, Jay, <laughs> no but I'm going to hand it over to you and let you get going. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Lisa. You know, thank you all for attending today. Um, you know, my goal for today is to help you understand a little bit about Delaware Life, who we are, uh, where we came from as an organization, <clears throat> what we offer to the market, and then show you how easy we are to do business with. Um, and that's really kind of been a focus you'll see across our product design and um, you know how we interact is just how easy we are to do business with uh, to make your lives, which in the annuity space we understand has become more and more complicated, um, as simple as possible. So a little background on Delaware Life. Um, we are a company that is part of um, Group 1001. They're our holding company. And so Clear Spring Annuities, a couple other organizations, Gainbridge tie into this um, overseeing company. And where we benefit from that is we share services. Um, we share like HR, legal, um, you know, different, different business entities throughout this organization. In turn, what that allows us to do is run a lot lighter and leaner from a marketing and distribution and product design standpoint. So therefore, we can um, bring out products to the market faster. Uh, we can keep stronger rates um, because overall, as an organization, we cost less to run. So using a shared service model has been quite beneficial um, for us as an organization to maintain strong rates in time periods where Others are declining, or you know, there's a little bit more volatility. We can be a little bit more stable. Um, as as a carrier, we are an A minus through AM Best, and we are actually now um, an A minus through Fitch as well. So we just got those ratings in, which was exciting about a week or so ago. So I can update these slides, um, and a triple B plus through um, S and P. We have about forty or so billion dollars on the books, and we've sold. Uh, business to date under the Delaware Life name, uh, around 18 billion or so. It's actually slightly over, and I think that's an important factor because you know, we don't advertise, we don't put money into commercials at the Masters. You're not going to see the Delaware Life eagle swoop down and grab the uh, fish out of the water and go off into the distance and say Delaware Life or anything like that. We just don't put money into marketing. So 18 billion dollars has been sold through good product design, old fashioned word of mouth, and referrals amongst our agent base. So the guys that have taken us on and sold us um, usually stick around. We have a lot of agents who you know, have been selling some of the products that I'm gonna show you today since 2015. We came into existence as an organization in August um, of 2013, so nine years ago. We really started selling more in the 2014 range. We started with the Pinnacle MIGA contract, 
and then expand it out to index products from there. And so we're big, we're relevant in the industry, and we're strong uh, from a rating standpoint. The last piece I'll leave you with uh, before I start to get into some of the product information here is that we are the old Sun Life of the U.S. and we are totally fine with anyone mentioning that because Sun Life had great name recognition. Some of your clients might even own Sun Life, old Sun Life contracts that are now getting Delaware Life Stadiums. So we are the old Sun Life. We're proud of that. You know, a number of the people in the organization are still here from that time with them. Um, so there's a lot of history in holding you know, original key port and Sun Life contracts going back into the, the 80s and the late 70s. Uh, so you know, we're very proud of that history. So let's dive into the product. Well, be before I do that, does anyone have uh, questions of me on Delaware Life and our background? and who we are i don't see any questions in the question box but i did message everybody let you guys know that jay is awesome um for answering questions being interrupted so you sure. just jot those uh jot those questions in we love the interaction with our audience so we encourage that um now is a great time to you know write you know type those questions in there and and you know, get those answered right away so that you can have a great understanding of, of how awesome this product is, so. Yeah, yeah well, let me know if any questions yeah. do come up. I'm, I'm happy to answer mid-flight. Um, you know, this presentation is for you guys. I, I do this more than enough time, so I know the ins and outs of these products. So <laughs> let's dive into our, our number one product. Uh, number one product that we have here is Retirement Stage 7. This came out September 2015. So we are just about to hit seven years of existence on this chassis, which is just wow. Uh, it just amazes me. Um, as Lisa had mentioned before, you're going to see a common thread. I'm going to spend more time on this product than the other ones because you're going to see how the products are all very similar in a lot of ways. So you don't have to spend as much time. Once you learn the fundamental chassis of one of our contracts, um, you, know, you pretty much know it all minus a couple um, slight differences, and I'll show you where you can see the variances from there. So, seven-year contract um, comes with enhanced minimum surrender value. That's a fancy way of us saying worst-case scenario behind the scene, this thing's going to grow at one percent on 100 percent of the premiums paid in. Um, once again, all the products I'm going to talk about today are flexible, premium, non-rolling surrender charges. So, this is a seven-year contract. If you were to buy it today on 818, 2022. This contract will be fully free on 818-2029. And that that is not that does not um, mean that means, excuse me, let me rephrase that. That means that any additional payments that came in, let's say year two, year three, year four, are also going to be free on 818-2029. So it's not like some of the older annuity contracts where you know each individual payment that comes in is going to have its own like seven year surrender window. We just lump it in to one start date, one finish date. So it works out great there. Um, the only rider that can be added to this contract is an optional return of premium rider. It's a 40 basis points of charge. It's on the contract for the seven years um, that there's a CDSC charge and then it, then it drops off. And also there's a bailout on this and I'll show you that on the grid sheet when you get there. Um, so within this product, we have a couple different indices that I'll go into a first trust, which is a US based um, NASDAQ focused, technology focused one, uh, Morgan Stanley, which is global opportunities, which is US, European and Japanese markets. It takes into account interest rates and, and uh, a couple other factors, a couple of commodities and things like that. So a nice balance there to complement our S&P options that I'll show you after this next slide. So this is the eye chart here. I'll run through it briefly, um, and you'll see it for the other products, but we all have this contained in one location for you guys to go and see at any time. All of our index contracts are age 18 to 80. Um, we only take non-qualified IRA, SEP IRA, and Roth IRA contracts at this time. 
what's been interesting though over the last year or so is we have been very much open to taking on um, some uh, SNC corporations and nonprofit organizations to own these contracts. Uh, so we've seen we've seen that a couple of different smaller banks or credit unions use the retirement stage of seven with the ROP rider on it because from an accounting standpoint with the ROP rider they can show that this product doesn't have surrender charges so therefore the credit union can hold it. Um, so it's a strategy we've seen and you know credit unions usually do five hundred thousand a million dollars. So pretty strong pretty strong option there for them. Um, so we've been open to taking on some of that business as well. As you can see, withdrawal charges, um, this is for this, this is for the heavier states. Um, so your standard states are seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, um, eight and a half, eight, seven, six. Um, very, very low in comparison to some of the other seven year products out there. It's a big differentiator. We're starting to see um, some products out there that like a Silac product that's a seven year that has like 12% surrender charge in year one, you know, uh, 11 and a half or 11 in year two. So, so we try to keep these surrender charges as low as possible. Uh, free amount is 10% after year one. And then you have a nursing home and terminal illness waiver built into this contract as well. That is of course state, state dependent, um, but it's available built into the charge, built into the contract free of charge. So everything I've shown you, all these features, other than the ROP, will cost your client nothing. And that's what a lot of people love about these products. They're fee-less. There's no $30 admin annual fee. There's no you know, hidden charges or anything like that. It costs the client nothing to have this, to use it for seven-year accumulation. In regards to commissions for you guys, which is, you know, of course, you got to run your business, um, this product is 5% commission up front. Uh, there, there are some trail options here, uh, some, some, a middle one of three and a half and 50, but our, our top trail option here is option number three, which is a 1% up front with a 1% trail. Now, about that trail, we will pay that indefinitely. So as long as there's an account value here, so if someone buys this contract, holds it for 20 years, we'll continue to pay that 1% trail. That's calculated on the anniversary date and we pay it out quarterly. So you get 25% you know, of it every three months. And you know, this is a way I've helped agents build out almost a fee-based business for themselves without them being a fee-based individual. So they, you know, in certain circumstances, certain times a year, depending on the tax brackets, they could take the 5% up front. We have a number of guys who are you know, getting around two hundred thousand to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, um, just in the one percent trail alone. So they are um, enjoying the product features. They are, you know, a big proponent of it. And you know, usually once they start building out that trail business, that's usually all they sell. So that's available on retirement stage seven. It's also available on the chapter the uh, target growth ten, which I'll go over next. Uh, but before. I do that. I'm just gonna make a couple cool things here. I wanted to show you the current rate environment for this product as well. So you're gonna see the first trust what I talked about before. So you know, US based index, um, based you know, a little heavier on technology. We have 110% participation on that. Uh, Morgan Stanley global um, opportunities, so US, European, and Japanese markets, 110% participation as well. And then we do a blend of um, three different S&P buckets. You can use a cap of 7.25, uh, a participation of 30 right now, and a trigger of 6.25. And this is a unique feature for us. A lot of people like to use it, especially in high volatile markets that we're seeing right now. A trigger is, is pretty much just um, a fancy way of saying, if the S&P is up, you get 6.25. So in the one year point to point window that we have here, um, if the S&P is up one and a half percent for the year, we'll pay the client 6.25. If it's, if it's up 7% for the year, we'll pay the client 6.25. So we see a lot of blending usage right now, especially 
um, with you know some of the proprietary indices. You know, there's been a there's been a a rush back to the S and P world, um, which we totally understand. That's it's safe. That's where people go. So we see a great blend in between uh, the, the cap and the trigger right now. In addition to that, uh, where we're actually seeing a lot more traction is the fixed bucket. Once again, this is a one-year term. All these are one-year point to points. The fixed rate uh, right now is 3.25. So we, we get a lot of people who are either on the fence about uh, you know an index or a MIGA product. And, you know, it's very easy to reposition someone to say, hey, listen, why don't we take half of the money and put it in the 3.25 and then take the other half and put it in the, the trigger. So maybe we can average you know, 4.75 or somewhere like that. It's way better than what you're going to get in my or put it a portion in the cap or blend it. So we do see people using the fixed bucket to reposition someone who might be overly conservative to uh, one of our products. I mentioned before, built into the contract free of charge of bailout cap. And this is a, you know, a guarantee from Delaware Life. And this is where I think one of our strongest attributes are that is one of the hardest to market um, is our renewals. We, our pricing model, we price things out for this full seven years. So these rates you get today are going to be, I think 95% of all our renewals have been within about five or 10%. So if you bought today an S&P cap, 7.25, you shouldn't see that flex more than high side 50 basis points over the term of the seven years. And you know, we have some marketing pieces to show that. I think we show you one, but it's one of the things we've done very well. It's one of the, one of the ways we've retained a lot of relationships and a lot of advisors. Um, it's something we take, you know, we're very proud of. And in regards to that, we, we put a bailout cap on our products here. That's 5.15. So if we were ever to send you a renewal notice and you're filing a renewal notice where this S&P cap was below 5.15, your client could walk away from the contract free. So that's kind of a, a built-in promise to us. This is contractual. This is locked in day one. It will not change um, for the life of the contract. So, you know, it's just another way you know, we're reinforcing the fact that we're not just saying we're going to honor good renewals, we're going to tie it into the contract as, as well. So it's one of the one of the other free aspects we do in there. So that's retirement stage of seven. I know I've said a lot, but hopefully I'm not going too, too fast. I wanted to just give you an opportunity. Are there any questions that anyone has on RS7 uh, before I move on to the 10-year version? Looking good there, Jay. Okay. Looking good. Keep moving. Keep moving then. All right, target <laughs> growth. Like I said, uh, with retirement stage seven, that was where we're going to spend a lot of the time on product design. Target growth is just a sausage of a different length from the BMW uh, car design terms here. So target growth is really a 10-year version of retirement stage seven on a more modernized chassis. So I'll show you a couple of the differences. Um, one of the differences is you have an additional index here through uh, Richard Bernstein Advisors. Um, so that's another US-based index. Just helps give you some more diversification options. Um, on this product, instead of a guaranteed minimum, we do a guaranteed account value minimum here. So worst case scenario, after 10 years, you're going to be up 10%. That's in the in the account value. So give us $100,000 for, for 10 years. The, market is down, that's going to be more concerning anyways, um, you'll at least worst case scenario leave with 110. The other variance is here, so it's a 18 to 80 once again, non-qual IRA, SEP IRA, Roth IRA. Um, the premiums on this one are minimum of 25. On the seven year product, the minimum was 10. This does say a million dollar maximum, but guys, uh, we, are, we are taking, I just closed the $6 million one on Monday. So if you do have some large case, and that was with no commission reduction. So I, the agent actually took the one-on-one -on -one trail on that one on this product as well. So that guy is getting $60,000 up front and $60,000, you know, minimum, unless the 
the client takes out withdrawals, that thing performs. I mean, he's going to be getting a, a drip of about sixty to seventy thousand dollars easy a year for the next ten years plus. So, um, if he had and taken I, it up, and if he had taken it up, probably would have been four hundred twenty thousand dollar day, which he's he, he didn't want for tax purposes. So, go ahead, Lisa. Sorry. Yeah. No. Just to reiterate, so if the count continues to to grow. Yep. That account value continues. I mean, he could be looking at raises to keep up with inflation and all that other jazz. Oh yeah, the trail well, absolutely. Is really, something that I'm seeing more agents, you know, become interested in because, especially when they're nearing retirement themselves, you know, this is going to be part of their retirement plan. Well, that is correct, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll kind of jump fall off on that. So yeah, let's say in just easy math in four years. That contract is worth eight hundred thousand dollars. Then now we're going to be cal calculating that one percent trail off of the eight hundred thousand dollars on that anniversary. So it would be an eighty thousand dollar a year on that. Once again, the these trails pay out for the account, as long as there's an account value. So this individual, it, it almost disincentivizes a transfer sometimes, which is in the client's benefit because at the end of the ten years. I understand most advisors will look and see what's modern, what's out there. If the current product that they're in is doing well and they have no surrender charge, then it doesn't it doesn't incentivize the advisor to have to leave the contract or have to move it. You know, they can still move it, of course, if there is if their needs change, if they need to go to an income product or, or whatever changes there. Um, but having you know a, a product that has good caps rates and spreads. Um, is fully surrender free and is continuing to pay, paying um, advisory trail. I mean, that's very sticky. You know, that, that's going to stay in a lot of circumstances. The other thing is, you bring up a good point, and I, I didn't bring this up before because uh, I didn't want to, didn't get too far into this, but we pay commissions once again for the life of the contract and the life of the advisor. Now, as long as the advisor is alive, we continue to pay that. Um, also, if the advisor were to change on the contract, we will then pay that new advisor. So some of our guys have seen this and maybe it's a, a design error on Delaware Life's part, I don't know, or maybe it was design intentional. If there is an opportunity, you have these assets on the books and they can transfer to someone else, at some point you can transition or sell or you know, give your book of business to a family member or another associate or a trustee individual so it, it adds it adds significant value if you know you can change it over from john smith um to roger smith at some point so just uh something to be aware of these commissions will transfer to a new agent as well. uh, so I and that's pretty that. cool you typically yeah. just see that in like captive carriers you know and yeah what you know so i think that's pretty cool of delaware life yeah and even after the 10 years, once again, flexible premium products, uh, you know, they mm -hmm. continue to add one at years 10, 11, 12. So um, that's why SEP IRA, Roth IRAs are designed around this is important. And even the S&C Corps and nonprofits, they can continue to drop money into these for as long as they want, just like a bank. So um, this product, you know, it's very similar in all other designs here. You know, this one, one of the major differences. Um, so, we talked about the 25,000 minimum million dollar max, but we're, we're happy to go way over that. So, that's just a conversation we're going to have. Uh, free withdrawal. This one has liquidity up front. R7 this is an older chassis. You had to wait a year to take out money. Um, of course, RMDs are free right away. Uh, this product, you have 10% free right away. Now, I will say that if the client does take out anything in year one, we're going to just charge that portion back to uh, on the commissions. So just something to be aware of. I don't I don't want that to be a surprise. Uh, anything that comes out, we don't want to discharge that. So uh, it's it's free to the clients, and it might cost you 50, 60 bucks of the commission back or whatever. So in regards to commissions, um, we talked about the one on one and nauseum. So you know, thank you for listening on that. And people building their business and funding their businesses and you know, funding their retirement for a number of years. 
Um, there are two middle options, a little bit more up front, five and a half for the 25 trail, and four up front on the 45 trail. Uh, but, you know, there's also a 7% up front. So um, definitely an option you know, for you. It, it, it is the most popular to be up front, of course, uh, but you have a blended option of choices from the commission standpoint. So the 10-year, okay. yeah, go ahead. Just, uh, I think, I don't know if it's on my end or your, your end, but I don't know if the speaker needs to be turned up or whatnot, but it's kind of cutting out just a little bit. If you could bring the mic a little closer, that would be nice. Is that better? Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Volume must have been down. Um, so, target growth. So, retirement stage is seven. You know, a couple of proprietary indices and definitely a little bit more SP focused. Uh, target growth, 10 year term. You're going to see it's a little bit more proprietary indice focused with a, a few um, SP options. So, CAP is 7.25. Participation of 30%. You're going to say, wow, that's very similar to IRS 7. Yes, we do have an inverted yield curve right now. I'm hoping to get these back up as the 10 year Treasury is is coming back up over the last couple of days here. Um, so hopefully we'll get we'll get a uh, an uptick there. Um, so the seven year products, the shorter duration products, have, have been a little bit more attractive because of the yield curves on them over the past six or seven months here. Um, in regards to target growth, we got the RBA with a, a, a 10 basis point spread. So this is banded, uh, less than 100, 100 or more. So you know, we're going to focus primarily more here on 100,000 or higher. Um, so this this is spread is this one a little bit of a funny story. Um, when we designed their system, I guess we didn't we, we didn't put the ability to put the spread at zero. Uh, so we're trying to adjust that at some point. Normally the spread would be zero right now, uh, but we actually, from a technical standpoint, can, the lowest we can go is 10 basis points on the spread. So if this thing returns 10% a year, you're fine, we get 9.9% return. So the spread is pretty much next to that. In regards to first trust in Morgan Stanley, you can see the higher participation of its 130%. I mean, we haven't seen participation rates of this magnitude, you know, since we had zero dollars in sales since I started here, uh, help and helping them build this out, um, you know, the highest participation rates we had seen previously, you know, were in the one one ten ratio, but now we're seeing one to one thirty. I'm sure you've seen others in the one forties, one fifties here and there, but you know, great story there because you know, it's just more for the client. If the thing returns five percent, they're going to get. You know, six and a half percent or whatever the additional 30 percent equates to. So, great story there. Once again, bailouts is built into this product free and clear. There is no riders, there is nothing you can add to tire pool. So, it's got flexible premium, easy to understand for the clients, straightforward, no fees whatsoever. The bailout, as you can tell the lines with you, are all built in. So, very client centric, very client focused. Easy for them to understand, therefore even easier for their advisor to understand this trade and sell in a lot of ways. So we try and keep things as straightforward and easy. Ease of business. I go back to it all the time. I know it's boring, but I have to say it. it's really how we focus. Um, so that's Target Growth Ted. Any questions on that one before I go over uh, my next product? Nope, it looks like we're good. Um, Still just a little hard to hear you, so I don't know if you want to try yelling a little bit. <laughs> Maybe that might help. Uh, I'm going to replug in the mic. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, it just it just feels like you're far away from a mic. I'm sorry. Um, That's all right. We can still hear you. Okay. I'll try to move it in a little closer. Is that better? Just need to make sure these fine folks can hear the goods. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Our last 10-year <laughs> product here is a bonus product. It's got 5% upfront. 
Um, and that's in the account value, once again, it's flexible. So this was our first product we brought to the market. Uh, we launched it in May of 2015. So flexible premium, you put in you know, $100,000 and your contract will start in the indexes at $105,000 on day one. So a little bit old fashioned. The nice thing with this product is that we have a threshold of 5% uh, lost the client to move money from another carrier. So if you know, another carrier has a four, four and a half percent surrender charge and has a low cap and they want to get the product out of it, uh, then they can go ahead and move this over and the 5% bonus will wash that in. So usually the next question I get is, hmm, you know, what is the, the threshold on the seven and 10 year target growth of retirement sleep seven? So for our products, we usually around a three, three and a half percent threshold. Um, so if they have a slight loss to client or a slight CBSC charge to tail in the contract, we're pretty comfortable with them moving it over, especially in this high cap rate environment. We get a lot of movement uh, due to us being highly competitive in the space there. So chapters 10, 25,000 minimum, same lineup as the rest, free withdrawals after year one. And a commission of seven percent up front with um, a trail option that it really is old fashioned. Really takes. Let's skip over that there. Um, so that that sums up our accumulation indice, uh, accumulation products. Um, our indices here. You know, we have all these resources built out for you. I'm going to show you a little bit about that now. Any questions on our accumulation products? Right. Not really. Um, I got some interest in seeing some of these slides, and I'm sure Jay would be okay in sharing some of the slides. But I'll also be sending out all the product information as well. So if you guys are getting um, writer's cramp or anything like that, don't worry about it. We'll be sure we we get you uh, get you the brochures and all the goods on these products as well. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sorry, I usually say that up front. I usually tell you to put down your, your notebook and your pen because this this is where I usually close out. It's, once again, we try and be as easy as possible to do business with, and, and we do this in a number of ways. Is I'm going to show you a couple of resources right now. So Delaware Life, our homepage, and you can do this right now. At the top, go to Four Financial Professionals. Um, these two are your kind of your post issue it's books of business to look at different products here. Now scroll down and where right here it should be in light blue login and register. You can come in in here and you can do this now. You can just register under items. You don't have to even be appointed with this. Uh, but you can come in in here and run an illustration. Uh, you can come in and see specific marketing pieces on. All our products, current rate sheets. These are all at your fingertips at any point. Now, Lisa and the team at Ives can absolutely help you as well. Uh, but this is this is behind the wall here. You can come in and register right now and get into it. Once again, you do not have to even be appointed to Delaware Life. You can do this right now. It's like a typical website registration, name, email address. Uh, it's going to ask what organization you work with. Just put items in there, and you're off and running. So that's that's the one that requires a lot. I'm going to show you this other one too, which myself and my teammate built out for Lisa, her team, and you guys to use. This one does not require a login. You can type this in your browser right now, product.delawarelife.com. It's going to bring you up to our, our top three products here. So I'm going to pick um, retirement stage of seven. So without logging in at your fingertips, you have access to you know, a little bit of the eye chart I talked about. It gives you a little summary of how the product functions and its current rate environment as well. That's that's right at the home page. Then if you want to get into the specifics, you can pull down the full details on this product per each state. So the details that I showed you in my quote unquote eye charts there. Some a little bit about the indices. These are these are uh, these are all right at your fingertips, no login required. As you can see, I save it here as DL Micro, the microsite. So I just click on it and go right to it. 
And if you ever need to see anything Delaware Life specific, it's right here. Uh, from product materials, product brochures, state availability. State availability is pretty easy. It's, all our products are available in every state, except for the state of New York, which we will not buy. Also, you have product training instructions right here. Uh, tells you step by step where to go, what, what code to use. Uh, anti money laundering is right there as well. Sales kits, illustrations that'll pass you through to the other site. And then service and support so if you need if you need access to um you know if you need access to a customer service representative or licensing it's right there and lastly i'll show you this is we give you full transparency access to all the index information everything so you know morgan stanley and first trust we talked about on retirement stage of seven um you can actually go to their website you know we can we're passing through to Morgan Stanley, and you can take a look at how it's done on the Morgan Stanley website. A quick summary of the indexes, which I was on kind of that last slide before I came over here, which tells you a description, asset classes, how they function in large cap line, their momentum, et cetera. So once again, everything kind of at your fingertips as quickly as possible. Hey, Jay. Uh, yeah. Looks like we do have another question in the inbox here, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah, what's going on? All right, go. is the performance trigger only available on the seven? Yes, that is correct. The performance trigger, because the seven is a little bit more S&P heavy, has three options. So the seven has a cap, a trigger, and a participation, where the target growth has a cap and participation. I am in discussions with trying to get the trigger added, to target growth 10, it's not done just yet, but the trigger is only available on the second Delaware White Life is also, I mean, they've partnered with IMS, so just want to throw it out there that not everybody has access to this, which means your competitors may not have access to this as well. So keep that in mind, keep Delaware Life in mind when it comes to that, this could separate you from from the guy next door trying to reach your client as well. Yeah, absolutely. We have, um, to, to that effect, we have a very limited partnership and limited distribution. Uh, we are not ever going to function like Allianz or Athene, such a large scale carrier, it's a little bit more behind the curtain. So you guys know, because it's a very transparent function in this role. Is you know we do in the independent space of about a billion dollars, and that's all we want. Uh, we, we're not looking to sell seven, eight, nine, ten billion dollars worth of these products because then we have to price things different. You have to be insured that there, there's so much more that goes behind. So we keep um, very few partners, very few selected partners that are allowed to even sell this product. So yes, it should give IMS a, a recruiting and competitive advantage against some of their competition, uh, but it does give um, their advisors an advantage in the sense where you know, another advisor, depending on their relationships, might not have access to these products. So they, I'm not going to say they're exclusive, but they're moderately exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's worked very well for us to maintain that level of sales. So well, and that has something. Did you? I and I'm sorry if I missed it. Did you show the declared rates from the retirement stage of seven? The declared rates? Oh, the mm -hmm. uh, oh, the renewal stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna pull that up. Thank you. Yeah. It's like I'm reading your mind. Yeah, you're on, you're on the game. So, um, R7 renewals, and we understand this one's a little tough to read. Um, that's why we're coming up with a newer piece that's a little bit more modernized. Once again, we are proud of our renewals. Um, you can, and we will show you every renewal for every month uh, since the beginning of the product sale. So, like I said, for retirement stage of seven, this product came out in September of 2015. If you were to have purchased it in September of 2015 and selected the fixed bucket, it initially would have been 2.6. 2016, 2.6, 17, 18, 19. 20, 
2.6. So that kind of held the whole time. On uh, September of 2015, the S&P cap initial was 5. 2016, 5, 17, 5, 18, 5, 19, 5, 20, 5. So you can see how, <clears throat> you know, these um, these had gone up. Now, what's interesting here is, is you know, um, if you had purchased this product, so the X is being, the S&P participation actually wasn't available on the contract at the time. So the S&P par didn't jump onto the contract and availability in 2018. It was at 20%, but then it actually went up to 35 in 2019 and then down to 25 in 2020. Once again, S&P Park is one of the more volatile ones, but you know we've all kind of kept it average in the same range. So the Morgan Stanley, the initial, when that came out in 2018 on these contracts, the initial participation was 85. Then in this contract, it would have renewed to 90, and then 90. They actually went up. So you, you, we can show you every contract. You know, if you if you ask um, a competitor or you ask one of your uh, client if they purchased this or client that's coming over and they bought it in December of 2016, you can look and see exactly what their rates were. You'll know exactly what things were for the for uh, their renewals for the up until 2021. Um, so we advertise these, and this goes on and on. We're very proud uh, because we we learned from other carriers, you know, a nine percent S and P cap today, and they they get the money in, and then three years down the road, all of a sudden you're renewing at four or three and a half. So that's not what you sold your clients, and that is not necessarily a way to build and foster relationships for the long run um, it creates animosity so we've seen that but um yeah that's kind of in summary who we are as an organization it's a, a relevant uh, medium-sized organization with a target goal uh, we have strong products that are easy to understand understand believe in strong renewals which reinforce relationships for many years and decades to come and that's where we plan on being in this space in a place that is hopefully as easy as possible to do business i mean we are building out technology um so that you know we're going to be like any tech company to a certain degree where you're going to be able to hit the delaware life uh, dl app on your phone and then it'll pull up and you'll be able to see your book of business it'll send you alerts when contracts are coming up for renewals, annual renewals, and when they're coming up for um, time periods where you know they're coming out of CDSC. So we're, we're moving in that stage of our development as an organization as well. So um, I wanted to thank you guys for your time. Are there any additional questions? Nope. And I, I again, everybody, I'm so sorry for being tardy. Um, and having some issues getting in the webinar here today, this morning, but um, I did just launch a poll here, Jay. Uh, would like everybody to go ahead and click less. yes if you want to dig into this deeper, go into any of these strategies a little bit more in depth with Jay. Happy to set that call up for you. Jay's That's been it. more than more than willing to be on uh, calls with my agents. So appreciate that partnership as well. Um, yeah. I will be sending a copy of this webinar as well as handouts to everybody and following up with you all with the call too, as to make sure you're comfortable with it. And then um, if you need to get contracted or anything else in regards to this webinar and, and Delaware Life and, and um, these growth products or their income products, just click yes and i will get you what you need so it looks like everybody's pretty much voted there i appreciate that i do have just a couple other polls and i want to make sure um that you're all aware well aware of with imes um, two items i want to bring to your attention would be our imes wealth management um, the thing i love about our imes wealth management is the fact that they are here to be you know part of that one stop shop for you producers agents um yeah whether you're you're doing 
the wealth management side or AUM or just fixed products. We can help you with all of that here at IMS. The thing I like about wealth management is that, um, or IMS Wealth Management, is that whether you're licensed or not, securities licensed or not, this is a way for you to control your business. Control your clients from talking to, you know, Mr. Smith next door because he's got a securities license and you don't. And it keeps Mr. Smith out of your backyard. So <clears throat> basically what you could do is if you have a client that needs additional you know maybe they need to be in mutual funds maybe they need to be in in the market and you don't want to get your securities license we'll call us here at IMS. i'll connect you over with zach and zach will help you take care of that client and uh for you so that you don't have to worry about splitting other fixed business commission with mr smith now the really cool thing and i think this says a lot is that uh zach or IMS wealth management will transfer that client um, back over to you if you ever do decide to get registered. That's huge. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. So um, I think that's super cool. They will take care of you service-wise, back office-wise. They literally handle everything for you A to Z. So if you're interested in wealth management, I'll have Duncan or Zach reach out to you. Um, one last poll that I want to draw up here is our I'm annuity academies that we have we've got a next one coming up here in september i think we're pretty much full for that one we've got another one coming up in november might have a couple seats left here in september the september academy will be here in our office at imes in omaha nebraska so we're still trying to make sure that you folks that are from warmer climates <laughs> won't freeze um but anyway what the purpose of these academies is to show you that partnership that IMS has. We take care of your room, board, flights, food, entertainment. You just bring your license so that you can get on your plane, <laughs> get on the plane, and um, and we take care of the rest. It's two and a half days. You're going to be hanging out with other successful producers in the room. We keep the groups fairly sh small so that there is that that um, nice group feeling that you have. You'll make some friends and really walk away with tools and strategies to grow your business, increase your revenue with that partnership and IMS. Um, so that's that's our goal. That's why we pay you know pay the price to bring you out. And uh, so if you're interested in the one coming up here in September, which is in just a few weeks, or any of our future ones, make sure you check yes here. I'll be sure you get your registration answer any of those questions. We could talk about dates and all that jazz. And with that, we're at our time. Jay, thank you so much again for your time here with us today. Folks, um, I look forward in following up with all of you. I hope that uh, I hope that you were able to get what you needed out of this webinar with Jay. Again, I apologize for us getting a little bit of a late start. But um, I look forward to speaking with y'all. Jay, thanks again. And uh, we'll probably have some conference calls to, to hook up with you later th this week. Jay, you still there? Oh, I think I lost them. Well, everybody have a good rest of the day. And I look forward to speaking with y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.